Looks pretty fun, right? The respect, the champagne, the sponsors, the glory. But how do you get from here? To here. 18 riders. 45 seconds from top to bottom. sculpted features in one of the most beautiful places on planet Earth. It's a long way away from your local dirt jumps, kid. I've worked hard to make this comp a rider-driven event. There you go. Top five is looking good if that's what you wanted. Maybe even six. We're looking at those right now. Ten four, give me some names when you're ready. Since 2006, riders have been stoked to ride this course in a low-stress environment. I just like this event because it's chill. Like, there's more guys that come out and ride, like more friends. It's a big jam of friends. We all here having fun on the bike and then doing what we like to do. You know, if we want more practice, we get more practice. It's a great course, good contest. You know, you know, put on by one of the best guys. So, but don't be fooled. This is a gold level event. Big points. The FMB title chase this year is close. If you read the internet forums, you already know. This is the last slopestyle contest of the FMV Tour before things head to the hills of Rampage. The last chance for current tour leader Sam Pilgrim to potentially lock in the title before heading to the vastly different playing riding grounds of Virgin, Utah. Yeah, last year I decided to track out to uh, Rampage. I'm obviously from England, living where there's not even any mountains, and uh, here I am in the middle of the craziest place on earth. And then I've got to ride my bike down it. If it's not fun, then I can't really ride to my best because I'm not enjoying it. Rampage is the biggest event for mountain bikes, so you want to be there. You kind of spend a day or two walking around all these ridges. It's a lot of area to cover, so you know I mean? You look at every little spot, every little detail, and then you kind of work out what works best for you and you know the line that excites you the most. Stepping on the podium at Rampage, the last event of the year and kind of the biggest, gnarliest, most well-known mountain bike contest would be probably the best feeling ever. Now I'm interested to go back, you know. I've got a real downhill bike and uh, yeah, I think I could actually have fun there this time, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Currently first overall in FMBA World Tour points, Sam Pilgrim. The intern nerds can say all they want about Sam Pilgrim's big mountain riding. Please me off the drop. Pilgrim is definitely comfortable here. Chuck Nellander, with total conviction. 360 up. Pilgrim. Backflip! Oh my oh goodness! Boy. What? In a decade! Oh. Chuck Nellander, okay, backflip! Let's just call it a day. Sam Pilgrim just crushed it. If you spend as much time on a shovel as I do, pretty soon all you think of is transitions and takeoffs. We were rebuilding it because it was a big soft spot in it and with dirt lips, it's pretty nice to be able to just make it perfect. Actually smashed all the wood lips and uh, went with dirt. A lot more work, but the payoff is much greater. This is what it's like to be a builder. We're all dirt jumpers, we all love to write dirt. You see all the top there that I just got all buttered? Mm -hmm. I thought you just brought that down here like as a prop. This is what it's like to be a competitor. Our next rider, Jordy Lund. No hander. No foot cam. I'm here for the local boy. In the gate, Sam Dewitt. Superman seat drop. With a tail whip, lazy style. Finishing with a nice big flare. Up to the top, T-Mac, locked and loaded. Decade. Oh, stupid. T-Mac, double tail. Things wow. are heat down there. He's crushing it here.
Martin Soderstrom ready to make things happen, and he has never won this event. Having avoided serious injury pretty much his entire career, tons of style coming out of this rider. Specialized Martin Soderstrom isn't here this weekend. The Swede was ranked number two in the FMB standing. He went down swinging at Crankworks. The diagnosis of Martin's injury, broken tib fib. We always talk about flow, but slope style can indeed be a brutal game. But those risks aren't on people's minds now. Claude did an amazing job. The course is probably the best it's ever been. Everything's flowing good, and I haven't heard one person complain, which is pretty rare these days, so it's good. You don't even need to ask what's there. You just know it's going to be good when you arrive. When you watch people for a few practices, you kind of see like how people prepare and like what tricks they really have and like how consistent everyone's riding. Like Landing your dream run on a sick course is the best thing in the world, and that's why everyone does it. When the contest is named after you, and you designed the course, and you built the course, I guess I can say I made it, but now I have to ride it. Airclaw, on course, here he is. Hey, slowed out with one hand table. Nice landing. Airclaw! Airclaw, there it is. 360 heads up. And a flare! In the gate, Logan Pete. Nice big tail whip. Double tail. Good for Logan Pete. Wow. Our next rider, Rich, at the top, Cam Zink. 360 and on. Opposite 360 X up off. Yeah, with a cannonball. A backflip Superman. Oh, dude. The 15-year-old phenom. Here he comes. Oh. Missouri, what's he got? What? Oh. What? Oh. Holy Are you shit. kidding me? When you make this loud of an entry into the sport, Anthony, expectations are high. When I first entered the sport, you know, I was coming to these contests and not knowing any of these dudes and you know seeing this, all these dudes on the videos and all these contests and I'm like man I need to like prove myself you know what I mean I need to go for it. But despite his undeniable talent, Anthony just hasn't been able to put together a full pull. Anthony Missouri massive flat spin 360 higher than anyone we've seen today into the clock oh, 20 and just misses it. Around. Oh, oh, oh. oh, and he just overshot that. This is the Red Bull Joyride. It looks like he's going for the big line into the cabin. Truck nice. drive up oh. top. This is linking up perfectly for Anthony. Can he do it? Oh, no. Anthony just going down hard on oh. that double whip. We're getting ready to go here at the Bear Claw Invitational. Our next rider, Anthony Missouri, what will the story be? Realistically, nice. this is his last shot this year for either more of the same or to change up the game. Tail whip off. Yep. Backflip bar spin. Things are heating up. And finishing off with a flare landed perfectly. That's the run Great Anthony run. was looking for. Our next rider, Thomas Genon. Winner of last year's Red Bull Joyride, trying to redeem himself here at the Bear Claw Invitational. Oh, 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 oh. Chuck Driver, two and X up, double tail whip. Oh my goodness! Hurt clip. Foot plant on the tree. Oh my god. Our next athlete, ladies and gentlemen, Yannick Graniri. Big tail whip off the cannon. Back flip up. Nice lazy tail whip off. Kadiri. Double oh, tail whip on the hip. Oh. Another flip whip. And a flare. Oh, oh that was rad. Yeah. 
how do you get here? Here he comes, last year's defending champ from Whistler, Brandon Semenov. You fall. Oh, Brandon going hard. Get back up. And you know what? You work. So how do you do it? How do you get from here? Boom, stop in the FFBA World Tour. To here. The Paraclaw Invitational. You spin. 360 off the first drop. You flow. Tail whip off the cannon. There's no easy road to the top in any sport. Opposite tail whip off the hip. It's just how it works. Truck driver off the drop. Oh boy, this is a winning run. Look at this. Another tail whip. And a oh. flip whip on the last jump. And you know what? There are no accidental champions. And that, my friends, is exactly how you get here.